How do you know that the object is at rest or in motion? To describe the motion of an object, first we need to specify a reference point. This reference point is called the origin. Here, the starting point of the balloon is called its origin. To specify the position of an object, it is convenient to choose a rectangular coordinate system consisting of three mutually perpendicular axes, labeled as x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. The point of intersection of these three axes is called the origin, which acts as reference point or position of the observer. The position of the object at a given instant of time can be described in terms of position coordinates x, y, z. This is the distance of the object from the origin O along the three perpendicular axes. To measure the time, a clock is put in this system to specify at what time the object is at the given position. This coordinate system along with the clock constitutes a frame of reference. Description of the motion or an event depends on the frame of reference chosen for the description. For example, inside a moving train, a ball dropped from any height appears to be bouncing off from the same point. However, motion of the ball seems to be completely different if observed from outside the train. It appears if the ball is moving in a parabolic path. This happens because motion of the ball is observed from two different frames of references. In first case, frame of reference is the train and in second case, the frame of reference is the earth. When an object starts moving or comes into motion, its one or more coordinates change with the time. The motion in which one out of three coordinate changes with time is called one-dimensional motion. In one-dimensional motion, object move in straight path. Therefore, this type of motion is called rectilinear or linear motion. A motion in which two out of three coordinates changes with time. The motion is called two-dimensional motion. Here. The ball moves from position P1, X1, Y1 to position P2, X2, Y2 along a curved path. A particle moving in a plane has two-dimensional motion. A particle moving in space has three-dimensional motion. In this type of motion, all the three rectangular coordinates change with time. The figure shows this type of motion where the particle moves from A to B and the corresponding rectangular coordinates change from X1, Y1, Z1 to X2, Y2, Z2. A bird or kite flying in the air are the examples of three-dimensional motions.